In part one, we entered Italy by way of Campania. We connected with a lovely soul, got reacquainted with hostel life, and ate, and ate, and ate, and ate, and ate. This time, a morning scoot up past the villages unexpectedly turned into an afternoon mountain summit with no bloody water or supplies. And the reward? The seafood meal of my dreams. Via Tere sul mare is far less well known than the neighboring towns. With that though, the level of English drops considerably. It's going to be a journey this. Um, a lot of my time from here on in is going to be spent in small town Italy. Bring on the local translators who don't know they're going to be translators when they leave their doors that day. But at some point they bump into a lost Australian in need of some proficiency in the Italian language. One thing that I've really enjoyed doing on this trip is beginning to get better at pronunciating in Italian. Check this out. Marina di Vietri. How did I do that? Marina di Vietri. Pizza mezzogiorno. Pizza mezzo, mezzogiorno. Now, word to the wise. Google Maps doesn't know what's left and right in small town Italy. I ended up pulling over every minute or so just to get my bearings. And it got worse as we climbed, as did the roads. As a result, I decided to ditch the scooter and proceed on foot. Although the terrain was completely manageable, the path itself continued to come to forks and I had to lay markers down just so I could find my way back. The trail went from being an unsealed road to a rocky pathway to becoming a mud-laden logging trail before finally turning into an unmarked trail overgrown with shrubs. We did finally join up with a marked trail though, about 45 minutes from the summit. Wouldn't recommend to anyone start a hike like this with no water, no food, no map and not having told anyone that you're doing it. And I'm not saying to the universe that I've won this particular battle because I still have to get down from here, find my motorcycle and find my helmet that I left somewhere on the trail. Uh, but we're halfway and what a fucking view. Because I didn't know what mountain we summited, I don't know what town we we're looking at but I think it was Dragony, which is the first town into the mountains after Vietri Sul Mare. Now I'm someone that loves to travel for a bit of an adventure and a bit of a physical sweat. But as you also know, I travel for food. And I chase that point sometimes on a day that I know I've had enough adventure and I can just have a beer and go get something delicious to eat. I've now reached that point and when we get down, there's a beer and some sort of seafood pasta, hopefully with my name on it, down in either Setera or Vietere Sur Mare. One of the two. Now the down climb, let's go. Never been more happy to see a piece of plastic ever. Yeah. Let's finish the job. Giorno, lavoro. Eh? Lavorare. Uh, non parlo italiano. Eh, poco poco però. What? Poco poco. Poco poco? Poco poco. What's poco poco? Is it like a little bit? Piccolo piccolo. Ah, piccolo piccolo. Very piccolo. Io cinese niente proprio. Uh, I'm cinese. from Australia, but cinese. Cinese? Australia. Australia. Australia, cinese. Eh sì, sono vicino. Uh -huh. yeah. You speak English? No, no. No? <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Oh. Here she is. Not a moment too soon. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, and I just want to get off this mountain now. My oh my. It is fresh. It's got calamari, mussels, squid, clams, prawns. I mean, there's no way this is not good. Oh my god. Mm. This is so fresh, so good. One thing I've had to embrace with Italian cuisine is the simplicity. I think simplicity serves seafood so well. Mm. Oh my god. Ninety-two out of out of a hundred. <clears throat> I'm giving this my first ninety score. This is amazing. Mm. 
So, 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 so good. Oh my God. For this next course, I actually opted against the vongole, which was, was a, which was a big call because I love vongole. I believe this is pasta in entrevi sauce. The head chef actually came out before and he said arigato to me, thinking I'm Japanese. <clears throat> a lot of people here think I'm Japanese. Smells delicious. So simple and perfect. All the flavors are so delicate. Hints of garlic, tiny bit of chili, parsley, anchovy, lemon. This liquid needs to be soaked up. I can't let it go to waste. This has given me a lot to think about in terms of what al dente actually feels like in the mouth. Because this pasta is cooked perfectly. Oh my god. Honestly, look, look what I'm doing. The liquid is like crack. This, it's a simple, simple, simple plate. Perfect. Not fantastic. Wonderful. This stuff, I can't let it waste. Hmm? Uh, Uncle zest lemon. Mm -hmm. no. And a little bit of lemon zest. Yes. Yes. Oh. Bon. Look at that. Eighty-nine out of a hundred. It would have been more, but I wanted more. Cetera. Another town in the Amalfi. Another town better than Positano. Eh?